Let's find the molar mass for PCl3. This is phosphorus trichloride. So the first thing we do when we find the molar mass for a molecule like PCl3, we go to the periodic table, we find phosphorus, 30.97, and the units are grams per mole. I'm not going to write those right now. We'll write those at the end. We only have one phosphorus atom, so we can leave that just like it is. For chlorine, we look up chlorine, 35.45, Again, the units are grams per mole, and we have three of these chlorine atoms. So we're going to multiply this by three. So we multiply this by three, we add it to the 30.97, and we get 137.32, the units grams per mole. My periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. So if yours rounds differently, you might get a slightly different answer out here. What this means is if we have 137.32 grams, that'll be one mole of PCL3. If we have one mole of PCL3, the mass will be 137.32 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for phosphorus trichloride, PCL3. Thanks for watching.